guys, Zach here. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you watching the video. Out here in beautiful Flagstaff, Arizona, and we are getting ready to hit the Edge of the World Trail, which is this really cool trail. It takes you right to the rim. Um, I don't even know what rim it's called, but it takes you there, and we're gonna get an epic campsite, hopefully. It's Memorial Day weekend, and I've seen nothing but vehicle traffic coming through here, which uh, is kind of a bummer. Don't know what we're gonna find, but I've heard of a couple of spots which aren't necessarily on the map, so gonna try and find some cool sites. Got Trooper with me and the 2018 Forerunner. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that I've gone through a few vehicles since moving to Arizona about a year ago. But this is my rig that I am keeping and I'll do a little walk around when we get to camp and get everything out. But uh, yeah, let's waste no more time. Let's hit the trail. There's a ton of people out here this weekend. I'm hoping that when we finally get to where we're going, it's a little more secluded. One thing that I really enjoy about Flagstaff is the pine forests. Um, now that I'm no longer in Maine, uh, you don't see a lot of pine trees where we're at. You see, well, I guess you see them a, a bit in Prescott, but down in Phoenix area, that's all cactus and desert. You know, you go out west towards Lake Havasu, that's all desert. So it's nice to be in the pine trees. You can smell them. It's kind of nice. All right, so we've officially made it. I don't think this is gonna be the campsite that we stay at. It's kind of like a, kind of a mess over here. But, this is what we're working with. Pretty crazy. Super windy out here. So, we're gonna actually kind of backtrack. And there's a couple of roads I want to check out. It's a little more in the pines. So. We're gonna go do that now. So Trooper made the executive decision. We are going to check out a different part of this area in the forest. It's not on the same trail that we were originally going to go on. It's promising, the topography is very similar to where we were gonna go. So we're gonna go check that out. I'm, I haven't seen anybody yet on this trail, I haven't seen anyone camping, and there's been a ton of downed trees that I've had to kind of skate around. So, I am thinking that I might get lucky here and find a camp spot that isn't flooded with people like all these other ones. Lots of down trees. Well, we found camp and this is probably one of the most epic campsites I've ever found. Let's check it out. So, we're right here in this little point firing. Nobody else around. You can walk down here. Are you ready for some astrophotography? Look at this. <laughs> this is why you do it. 
we are here by ourselves in the middle of kind of nowhere. And that is the view. I'm kind of beside myself. This is gotta be top, top two, at least top two. All right, I'm gonna get to unpacking camp. I'm gonna try the awning. It is a little windy, so I'm gonna probably have to stake it down, which is no big deal. But uh, if it gets any windier than this, I'll probably just pack it up. Helicopter flying around over there. You can probably hear it. He's doing circles. So I just checked the fire map for this area. <clears throat> Apparently, there is a forest fire on the other side of this ridge. Might be a reason why it's so quiet. But it, regardless, I got camp set up, got the gazelle set up. I'm gonna hold off on setting up the mattress until I know what's going on over here and whether or not we're gonna be safe. Troops enjoying everything though. For you. I keep my arms out and hold you like before. We can fly. So a little life update on myself. Uh, I moved to Prescott about a year ago, which is about the time I stopped making videos, because I accepted a position to work for a company called Summit 4x4. Uh, it's a custom off-road shop in Prescott. I'm working as their marketing manager right now and really enjoying it. So that's, uh, that's where I'm at. I'm in Prescott and uh, we have our camper and storage. We have an apartment that we live in with a roommate and we're just working a nine to five right now so enjoying life on the weekends 
enjoy life during the weekday. Pretty awesome job. If you're interested, go follow them at Summit 4x4 Company on Instagram. We have a Facebook page, uh, a meetup if you're in the area and you want to join the clubs. You can do that too. It's just a pretty, pretty awesome company and great group of people. Well, camp is packed. We are ready to hit the trail. It took about 20 minutes for us to pack up, but uh, I'm willing to bet if that fire came over the ridge last night, I'd be able to do it in about two. I would just leave everything. But regardless, if you guys have any questions about the gear that I use or the places that I've been going, or you've seen a video in the past and uh, you had some questions about that, please feel free to message me on Instagram. I'm, I'm very responsive on Instagram, less so on the YouTube comments, just because I'm on Instagram more. So at PS Overland, you can see some of my photography, you can see different vehicle stuff. Um, and yeah, that's where I post a lot more. So if you've enjoyed this content, I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, which a majority of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed, it really means a lot by subscribing. We're so close to a thousand subscribers, which is a little goal that I set a long time ago. I never thought I would actually get to it, but we are right there at the finish line. And um, I'm super excited to continue putting out videos for you guys. If you enjoy these, please leave some comments down below on what you'd like to see. If you had any questions on anything that I used while I was out here, like the awnings or the lights or what have you, feel free to ask. Um, I'd be happy to point you in the right direction and uh, recommend some quality gear from some of the people that we've been working with and some of the people that I've gotten to meet and interact with in the outdoor and off-road industry. So that's that. What do you think, Troop? Are you excited? Are you happy you had a good trip? He's so filthy, he's gray. I'll show you. Troopy, you're so gray and dirty.